Let's blow some bubbles. Look at those pretty bubbles. Don't you love it? Let's look at our crystal fairy angel. She's singing. Let's look at our trumpet blowing angel right here. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> what I love about being alive and being connected to you is you guys, I think that we love each other. And I think that this love is growing something extraordinary. You think that the sun is emitting solar flares, but maybe as below, so above. Maybe when we used to say as above, so below, maybe it has switched as below, so above. We are making these things happen with our hearts connecting and it's what? It's an explosion and we're just like so happy. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. Um, I'm going to be 50 this year and I'm just like, oh, I can cry. I don't want to be old, but you know what? I'm happy. And I think that this ascension, that's what it's meant to be is we, we grow older, we become as one, we become in tune and we begin to hear the voice when before it was silent and we were all alone, sad. And I don't want to be that way anymore. <laughs> I want to be in love and I want you to be in love also. And I want you to know that this is a safe, authentic place for you to be yourself and to be loved by me, who has a very motherly energy. Um, if you, you know, feel like you need that motherly tender care, then come here and and I'll give you some hot tea and blow some bubbles for you and and help you feel magical and special. If you need the daddy in me, then I can be I can be mean to you. <laughs> I can be a jerk to you if you want me to. <laughs> Could put you in timeout. No. The male is somebody who makes you laugh. So I think the female is the come here, let me make you feel better. And the daddy is somebody who makes you laugh. All right, so we're gonna be reading for Daniel today. And I've read for Daniel before. I'm so excited to connect with Daniel's energy because Daniel was a reading that was connected to Scientology and uh, was connected to a wall, but that was many months ago. And let's see where how quickly we've been growing. Spirit brought you truth and reflect. Keep your eyes open. Joy lives in small places. I know you already know that, right? Let us look at your energy. Before we begin, jingle our little bell and get Mushi, who wants to come and give you a kiss. And Mushi is going to anoint your peace for you to raise your vibes. I will rise up. I will shift my number. Quantum jump to joy. I will rise up. I will shift my number. Eleven twenty two forty four. I will rise up. I will shift my number. <laughs> if I hear a song in my head, uh, maybe one word is for you. Maybe the entire verse is for you. I don't know. But I always like to do that just because it makes you happy and it makes your heart giggle like a little boy and we want to be happy. And I want you to be happy. As your mother. I am now your mother for this time that you're here. So we're, we're going to play a game. It's going to be called Mommy. All right, here we go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you have this song come in my head. Just laugh, okay? Um, you don't have to be rich to be my girl. Don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign for me to be compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. We could sing it slower and make it sound a little more magical. You don't have to watch Dynasty to have an attitude. You just leave it all up to me. I know how to be your fool. 
You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cruel to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign to be compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. It says life. Something down here. See the, those words down there? Interesting. Several people are coming in your piece. There's a lion with a crown and a pyramid. And you looking like an oracle. So let's, let's um, sit here for a second. There's a little child here. Hold on. Okay. An old world is being um there's an there's like an Aztec pyramid and there's this and the and the stairs that go up the pyramid go up to these animals. It's a it's a place. Um, it's connected to uh, an animal, but the animal was, is really just an allegory for a place. So let me try to bring this forward. But so so there's this this door. There's this stairway that goes down here, and another stairway that goes down here, like this. And it makes the letter H on the stairway, and there's stairs. And, and um, it is, um, a god, really. And so, it's hard for me to um, bring everything up because this is this is very detailed, and the head of a crown above the head that I'm not sure who this is yet is a lion, but it has the letter X over it, and I'm not sure why. And then it also is a wolf that's eating the pyramid, like like uh, an old world is falling away. And a new world is, but anyway, the the main energy here is a giant lion with a crown here. And so here is the body of this god sharing the crown or the head with this lion where the nose of the lion makes a holy grail. And, um, and anyway... So, there's some people here coming forward. There's somebody um, in a bed, and there's people surrounding this person in a bed. And um, it's like family. And, um, and yeah, it says family. And there's something about... Um, 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 the age of Pisces is gone. So the wall is gone. Um, the age of Pisces is diminished. Um, the new world has risen. Now, there's a world here, it says, um, um, why? Like Yule, like almost like Yule tide. Yule. Um, give that a minute. 
But anyway, here you are as this god. And you have the pyramid over your head because it is really kind of an energy of Toth of, of really squaring your emotions and your beliefs. And this pyramid is a place and it's all this stuff. There's, um, yeah, so you, you um, the pyramid goes out that way and then it goes this way. This is going to shift and change. For some reason, this is showing you family. So this this needs to be focused on your life and your world. This is your spiritual ascension. This is your world that's moving up. And I'm not sure what this is over here. But there's pyramids everywhere. There's a pyramid here. There's some strange being up here that reminds me of the mouse people, the giant mouse, mice of... Sumatra or Sussex. Um, oh, it's a Mad Hatter tea party. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's a Mad Hatter tea party. It's Alice in Wonderland. And they're all sitting around with the rabbit. See, the white rabbit. We are in the year of the white rabbit. This is, and this Mad Hatter tea party is all of us are kind of going crazy with the new downloads that are being given to us. And the tea that we're drinking, like ayahuasca tea, and the teas that we're starting to get downloads from are, the tea party is this sun energy. It's, I thought it was a bed. It turned into a, a table. Here is the Mad Hatter. And this Mad Hatter tea party, he actually has a teacup in his hand. Drinking the tea. And he has this scraggly hair here. See? What, what? And then look at this. And then, um, and then you, you got the, uh, you got these chairs here and the, uh, like rabbit, but only the back of the head of the rabbit here and, and the sun and then this beautiful girl, this young girl, she's like Alice, but she has a different hat on. Her hat is small, and it makes the number 10. And um, she's seated at the Mad Hatter Tea Party. And, um, but this strange table is an allegory. For and 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 the the sun, um, this sun or moon is disintegrating. It, I think it's the moon. Something is disintegrating. The energy of the sun or the moon is something's happening to it. You have runes here. You have strange runes coming forward on the table. This is a table that has ancient language on it. Oh, it has something that goes like this and this, and then out of the face of this this moon or something because it's dark i don't see it as a sun it is a face of a goddess like a, a female goddess she has the letter w like a, in a hebrew way how the letter w goes like this and it's like a birthing of a new planet or a new place coming out of the disintegration of this moon um and it's like um uh and it's coming out so we know what it reminds me of is Dr. John D. And 